There we go, greetings again. Um, a very good morning if you have skipped over the arithmetic and you're not checking those today, that's fine. Uh, we are on with the reasoning, which today was sort of data handling, looking at information and three different ways it's been presented. Um, in the table, we need to complete the table with the missing values. Now, we touched on this just before, um, a few weeks before Easter. Um, each column, so these numbers add to make the total. These numbers in the row will make this total. Often, you would have a total box here, which would be the total of this column there, which should be the same as the total of this row here. We have it on this table, but that's a really useful way to check um, your answers. So there we go. So to find this one, I know that something add 12 makes 29. So we could do 29 subtract 12 to get 17. Here, 15 add 21, the total goes there. So I'm going to have 36, and that tells me that 36 children chose book club, 15 were girls, 21 were boys. Nature club, we know 14 girls, 29 children altogether, so how many were boys? It must have been 15. Here, I can't just make up how many boys and girls with a total of 33, so instead I'm going to look at this row. I've got to make 62, so far I'm on 12, 27, 27, 47, 48. So I would do 62 subtract 48 to find this number here, 14. Um, where are we then? We need to find, oh now I can find this one here before I find the total number of girls in the, um, in the survey. So 14 and something makes 33, uh, which is 16, I'd get me to 30, 16 would be 19. There we go. And then I can add across to find the total number of girls who were surveyed in total. Um, so I'm going to add the 1s, 9, 13, 18, 20, jot down 25. Um, did I get to that? Just going to do a check, do it the other way. So we've got 12, that would make 13, 12, add 13 to 25. Add the 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. Add those together, 65 girls all together. Then I can use the information in the table to prove whether each statement is true or false. So Science Club and Nature Club are the two most popular clubs for girls. So Science Club, Nature Club, the two most popular clubs for girls. Well, that's false because the two most popular would yes be Science Club, but Gym Club with 19. Total number of children who belong to a club is more than 120. So if I add these together, I would get more than 120. That's true. I'd get 127. I'm um, 60, I'd 60, 120, seven more. Book club and science club are more popular with girls than boys. So book club and science club. So I'm looking up here. More popular with girls than boys. So I'm going to add those together. 17 add 15 is 32. 12 add 21 makes 33, so more people chose, more boys chose Science Club and Book Club. More popular, so it's false. It's saying it'd be the other way around. More popular with girls than boys. 15, uh, 32 girls, 33 boys. In total, more children chose Science Club and Gym Club. Science Club and Gym Club, so let's jot that down. That would have a total of 59.62, then book club and nature club, so I'm going to add those together to get 59, add the 6, so we did 30, add 29, 59, um, add the 6, 59 would be 65, more children chose, false, more children chose book club, um, book club and nature club, doing that addition there, not you compare yours to mine, okay, a pie chart. I know it's a bit small on the board, you might want to look down at yours while I'm going through it. 32 people, that's important information, and it's about different fruits. The pie chart shows the results. So what percentage of people said strawberries were their favourite fruit? So strawberries, purple, well it was a quarter, my answer needs to be a percentage, one quarter as a percentage, 25%. How many people said grapes? Well grapes is the blue. It's half the circle, so it's half the number of people, half of 32 is 16. How many more people chose strawberries than oranges, or compared to oranges? So strawberries must be a quarter of the circle, or 25% of the circle, a quarter of 32 
is eight compared to oranges. Oranges are green. I'm going to take it to mean that these green and the red parts, oranges and apples, are equal. Okay, so an eight to 32 is four. So compared to those, how many more? Four people more. School took shop wants to add some fruit um, to their menu and use the pie chart to help them um, decide. They already sell grapes, so I don't need to choose from that. Should they add apples, strawberries, or oranges? Well, they should choose the most popular, which was strawberries. Um, that would be the most sensible. More people are li more likely to buy that as their favourite than um, apples or oranges. So strawberries would be the sensible suggestion if you were making that pitch. Last bit, line graph. Um, again, have a look down at yours, because um, it's a little bit small on the board there. So we've got our key, we've got a solid line for Reese, dash line for Megan, and kind of a dotty dash, smaller dashes for Anisha. And they're on a bike ride. This is how far they've traveled and at what time they had traveled by. A few little things where the line goes straight and horizontal, time's carrying on, but um, Reese isn't cycling any further here, so he must be having a rest. Same here, look for Anisha. Reese again having a rest there. Megan's having her rest there as well. Okay. Good things to work out is what is going, each scale is going up in. So count the jumps to get from zero to one. One, two, three, four, five. So each one must be 0 0.2 of a kilometre or 200 metres. If a kilometre is 1,000 metres, and we've got five jumps to get there, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. Same with time, half an hour between 15, 30 and 4 o'clock, 1,600. So each jump is five minutes. 15, 30, 15, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or the next hour, 16, 4 o'clock. So, how far had Anisha cycled by 1555? So I can find 1555, and Anisha is the small dotted lines. So I'm going to follow that up, and then I would go across. If you look really carefully on your sheet, Anisha's dotted line crosses that line a little bit higher. So if that was 2.6, a sensible estimate would be somewhere between 2.6 to 2.7. Kilometers. I think the most accurate I think I would be tempted to put is 2.625. Um, if you've gone to that level of detail, you've superstar. How many minutes did it take Anisha to cycle two kilometers? So sticking with Anisha with a dotted line, two kilometers. This time I'm going to start here, two kilometers there, and go down. So she cycled by 1530. She started at 1500, three o'clock, so it's taken her 30 minutes to cycle that distance. Just start at 3 o'clock, finish recycling those two kilometres at 3.30, a difference of 30 minutes. At what time did Anisha stop cycling for her first rest? So we're looking for those hor that first horizontal, so first rest for Anisha is there, and that is at 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. or 1600, whichever way showing you're showing the time. How much further did, had Anisha cycled than, that should be that, not that, than Megan by 15.30? So we're looking at 15.30. I'm just going to rub out, oh, sorry, my, he says. Let's rub those out, it's getting a bit messy on the mat, on the graph. Go for a highlighter. So we're looking at 15.30, so the time's here. There we go. Um, and we've got Anisha, and we're comparing Anisha's distance to Megan's distance. Uh, so Anisha had cycled two kilometres. Megan had cycled, Megan's the dashed line, halfway between, so I would estimate that to be 1.2, 1.4, 1.5 kilometres. So a difference of 500 metres or 0 0.5 kilometres, whichever or both would be accurate. How much further had Reese cycled than Anisha at 1620? So we find 1620 there. And we're comparing Megan and Reese. Uh, Megan, sorry, Reese and Anisha. So the solid line for Reese there. It's going to have to go across. It's hidden by the key on purpose. But you can see it's 200 metres more than 4 kilometres, so I'll do it up here, 4.2. And we're comparing Reese to Anisha, the, dash, the dotted line, which is there, at 3.2. So 
So a difference of one kilometer or a thousand meters, same difference, kilo meaning thousand. How much further had Megan cycled than Anisha by 1650? So we can find 1650 here. I'm comparing the two dashed lines, basically, Megan and Anisha. So we can go up, there's one, and if I go across, I'd get to four kilometers. And they're halfway between four and five kilometers, I think. Oh, no, so, oh, yeah, halfway. 4.5, so an answer of 500 meters or 0.5 kilometers. Now it gets tricky when you're reading across here and it's hidden. So I would use one that I know, like four kilometers there, and then go up 200, 400, and an extra halfway, 100 meters. There. How much longer did it take um, Anisha to cycle three kilometers than it took Reese? So Anisha, three kilometers. I'll use the highlighter again, I find that a helpful strategy. Shows the line that I'm comparing. Pen. There we go. How much longer did it take Anisha to cycle three kilometers than it took Reese? So we're looking for Anisha, the dotted line there, which is 1605, 1615. Then it took Reese, who is the uh, solid line, isn't it, Reese? Three kilometers down that's 1605 a difference of 10 minutes um, is that right yep no so there down that would be 1615 1615 Reese the solid line there 1605 a difference of 10 minutes there we go and jobs are good and well done.